Good morning, Buffy. Say hi. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I have no idea where I'm going. Well, I've got a little idea, but I don't have... I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing today because my appointment canceled. I hate it when that happens. So, like I said, don't know what I'm doing today, but I'm going to do something. So I'll see you on the other side of the intro and we'll figure out what that something is. If you guys take one tip away from today's video, let it be this. Always check your coolant and your oil. Check it on a weekly basis. That way you'll check it every two weeks. <laughs> because if you don't have oil in your vehicle, if you don't have coolant in your vehicle, you will ruin something. And it will cost you a lot more than the cost or the price of one gallon of coolant or one quart of oil. Trust me. Um, I think, oh, there's the sign right there. Yeah, if you can see it, it's in the center of the frame right there. The, oh, I'll zoom in, here we go. So Fort Stoicum Park, this is where we usually take a look at the barns, but this is like on the opposite end. Um, so like the dog park and the trail, that trail right there goes to the graveyard and everything way down there. Um, I, I was just, I was out in a boat and I decided to um, stop here and oh wow, they got a lot of water out there, a lot of standing water. Um, but it might start raining. So I'm trying to find out which direction the clouds are going because we got some nasty, nasty clouds over there. And then we've got black hole sun, won't you come right there. And so, yeah, I need to ascertain as to whether or not Buffy and I can go and take a walk because we're kind of bored. There's nothing to do today. Except for the cell phone and the camera. If it rains, no big deal. People dry, clothes dry. You take a warm shower, you get warmed up. No big deal. Oh, you guys should see the way I parked. I know this is all over the place. Take a look at this. Okay, we're going to go. Let's, let's just do this. Let's do this. Are you ready to do this? She's like, yeah, whatever. Yep. Like I said, there's my parking job. <laughs> and that's what it looks like when I do this parking job. <laughs> that looks all, my truck looks all jacked up. <laughs> Hi, Buffy. Watch, instant door opener. Bink. <laughs> Wanna get out? Let's go. Wow, look at all the standing water. It rained like crazy last night. I mean, like, if it could rain any crazier, we'd probably float away. Honestly, um, okay, pick a section. Here, you go through this section. No, you're not gonna go, well, you have to go through one of these sections, come on. All right, fine, I'll go first. Ugh, I'm going through the section. Ugh. There, I made it through the section, come on. Nope, wrong section. That's why I wanted you to go first, turkey. I just called my dog a turkey. Finally, you guys, remember when the camera broke, when Buffy ate it? <laughs> Finally, uh, the warranty did go through Again, finally, I know I'm accentuating the words finally because it's been like months now, like two months. They gave me a gift certificate to Amazon, so they did not uh, give cash back for the camera. And that's kind of bad. But the good thing about it is not only am I getting another replacement camera, I won't say just in case, I'll say when something happens to this camera, I will have a replacement ready for it. Oh, apparently Buffy's making friends or enemies, I don't know. <laughs> Are we doing friends or enemies? Inside there is an off-leash dog park. Anyway, case in point, there was money left over, so I went and got Buffy uh, the GoPro harness, which is so cool because now we'll be able to strap the GoPro to Buffy and go out and do things with her. Even like let her swim if she swims. I'm not sure if she swims or not. So that's where we came from, way down there. And the whole green area that's fenced in here to the left this is all dog park. There's a lot of area there to go in. But see, look, see like the two dogs over there? And then there's two other bigger dogs over here. You just never know when you're gonna find a dog. And if you have the dog off the leash in the park, and then they get into a fight, how, what do you do? Especially when the one dog won't listen to you. Oh, wait, wait. Look, I think it's sectioned off. I think that you can go over there or over there. And I think there's a small section over there. Oh, how cool is that? Okay, we're gonna go. I wonder if they built this thing on the graveyard. All right, let's go. Let's, let's see how you do in the dog park. Oh no, guys. <laughs> um, you guys see that tree right there? Let me get closer. Let me get closer. You guys see that tree? What does that remind you of again? Dun, 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 Bob Ross. Oh my gosh, my battery's dying. Oh, son of a cow. 
Back from the dog park, just want to show you guys the articulation. This is what it's called. I'm going to try and make it all the way around my truck. All the way around. All the way around. All the way around. Yep. Yep. Look at the clouds and tell me which clouds are on top. Are the white ones on top of the gray ones or are the gray ones on top of the white ones? Hmm. The most interesting thing that you could come up with is looking at the clouds? Yes. Yes, it was. So I think it's about this time of year, a week before Christmas, that if you don't have your Christmas lights up, then don't worry about it. <laughs> if you don't have your Christmas lights up at this point, don't worry about it. But everything is so dark. Maybe it's because it's still dusk right now. And again, guys, remember it's darker for me than it is for you right now looking through. You know, I could drive better looking through the, the screen and the camera than I could looking at, or than I can looking at the actual road. See, look what you guys do to me. You guys make me get all grammatically like messed up and stuff. Just kidding, love you guys. Oh look, LED colored, vibrant, white lights. And back there we've got incandescent colored and white. I didn't like them at first, but the LED lights are actually extremely, they're like really growing on me because they're all typically the same color, the same shade. They're extremely vibrant, incandescent or not. They're, they're like washed out, I think. But washed out, but nostalgic. So they're still cool. I've decided that I'm gonna do it. I'm just setting up uh, right now. Buffy's like, what? What are you gonna do? I was sleeping, man. I know, she was. She was sleeping, and I woke her up just now. But I am getting the tripod. Look at this, isn't that cool? See, that's why it's a tripod, is so that you can adjust the legs for whatever kind of distance you need. Gosh, I love technology. Anyway, the, the Krampus, or as some people say, Krampus, or as you're supposed to say, Krampus. That's how you actually say it. Um, I think. Somebody's probably going to say, that's not how you say it. But anyway, um, so that's going to be the way that I start this thing out. Because so many people are like, oh, let's go see Krampus. Oh, let's go see Krampus. Let's go see Krampus. So that's it. But however, if you're talking among your friends, amongst your friends, and you're sitting there and it's like, oh, dude, you want to go see, like, Krampus? Or like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? So you can say Krampus. That works, because everybody knows what, what, what you're talking about. It's just like when you're saying, I text someone. Oh, excuse me. A lot of people say, I texted someone. Um, no, you text someone. Yes. Triv27, am I right on that? It's just everybody just, just says, I texted somebody. I, I don't know. Pet peeve again. Yes, I am the, uh, the, the uh, what is it? The grammar Nazi. Grammar. All right. Speaking of grammar. Do you want to do this review? You want to do this review? You want to do this? All right, let's do this. You guys don't understand. When you do a movie review, you are opening yourself up for people saying, You suck! That movie was good! Or, You suck! I thought that movie was horrible! Yeah, so it, it really kind of, doing movie reviews is kind of cool because, you know, a lot of people can view it and it's also possibly good for the channel and viewership and, and all the stuff that we, we fight for and everything, but on the same token, it could be really bad. But the awesome thing about it, thumbs up or thumbs down, it's the same. It does, as long as it's an engagement, it's an engagement. That and comments and all that. So it doesn't matter. It's all Good. And she's like, I am going to take that camera and I'm going to eat it. And I'll be like, that's okay. I've got another one on the way. And this one's warrantied. What? What? Why are you guys looking at me like that? Why are you laughing at me? Stop laughing at me. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> and we have to do cock twice tonight for two nights. So let's just like get her done. I want to save this, make sure that I save everything because I'm edited up into the point that you are watching right now. Oh, oh, and uh, yes, the Krampus uh, Christmas movie review is done and it's online. So you guys please go and like check it out and do all that fun stuff and like thumbs up because it's only at like 25 views right now and eight and five and yeah, woo, awesome. Refocus, are we there yet? Awesome, cool. 47 comments for taking my punishment. And yes, I know that I forgot the outro. I don't even want to talk about it. Matthew Rondell, you were first. Congratulations, sir. If you guys go and take a look at 
the COC from the day before the day before yesterday on taking my punishment. Take a look at what Matthew Rondell has done. Freaking awesome stuff. He has given a link for Get Troy on Ellen DeGeneres show. Awesome. So take a look at that. That's uh, something that he started on Facebook. He's doing this. I have nothing to do with it. But if it goes through, then then it will be awesome for all of us. So uh, support Hellions and support us and, and check that out. Thank you. Uh, I, as Bartles and James used to say, thank you for your support. Wondering Sharon, Buffy's going to recreate the campfire scene from Blazing Saddles. <laughs> you know, she actually wasn't bad that night. Little Giles, you should have let Steve dump the beans because I'm thinking he would have had a great time doing that. I know, I didn't think about it until after he had left, but I should have had him because that, that would have been more epic. Steve's funny too. He's a great guy, damn good haunter, and he's funny. Stephanie loves fall. How can you be patient enough to not open packages? You, you don't know what's in there. I mean, typically, you don't know what's in there before you open something, and it's just... The magic is gone once you open it. The question's answered. Sorry. All right. Moving on. Apocalypse 38. The bean juice was the same color of your skin tone, so it looked like you were melting. I should have done that. If I had known, I would, I would have been like, Ow, I'm melting. Ramthal. I say dumping beans over your head doesn't count as a punishment. Really? Okay, Ram. In that case... I challenge you to dump beans over your head, sir. Just do it. I want to see it in video. Got to do it. Since it's not a punishment, let's see it. Challenge? Jason Christopher 77, obviously I'm not going to read your comment, but <laughs> I, I, I actually, I'm not, I don't even know what to say to it. Branson Haunted Hills, thumbs up always. The trees with Bob Ross hair was funny. I think I'm just going to make that a thing, because obviously I did it today too. I think I'm just going to make that a thing, because it is freaking hilarious. Merlin SK, good stuff, Troy, for taking on the bean challenge. You are indeed a good human bean. Ha! Ah! Awesome, I see what you did there. And for yesterday's vlog, almost like Christmas. Ooh, there's a toss-up. Jolson first. Awesome, congratulations, sir. Oh, you guys are already trying to determine my punishment. 66 Z Dog 66. No outro, tisk tisk. Maybe Troy's Christmas present should be a break on punishment. And Matthew Rondell mentions the itchy sweater. Right starter B, no outro for the punishment. You should let Jason Christopher give you a spanking. That's worth 1 million hell points. <sighs> Ram the tall. It's surprising that the pink snake is still in one piece. Buffy is slacking. I'm um, actually, um, it is in one piece, but most of the stuffing is gone, and it's extremely hairy. Here, here you go. Here's your snake. Take your snake. Good girl. Angel of the Dark Five. Hey, Troy, I would love to see you do the Chubby Bunny Marshmallow Challenge, if you never heard of it, and I did take a look at it, so I, I did see it. Um, so there's that one. Ooh, Bean Boozle. I've been told it's coming. If you guys don't know what Bean Boozle is, then you guys can, can look it up. But um, it's the, the biggest craze right now, and we're going to do it. I'm going to try and get Juan over here, because I think that would be a funny vlog. Stephanie loves fall. Click, thumbs up, watch, repeat. <laughs> That's kind of like the people that are still in the shower, like, washing their hair, because it says, uh, uh, lather, or wait, wash, lather, rinse, repeat, right? Isn't that what it says? Oh, awesome. Lacey O'Brien, a present for Buffy will be at the P.O. Box. Well, thank you. Cool. Travis Williams, Troy, try the pizza challenge. I did take a look at that also. That looks kind of gross. Well, uh, but, you know, hey, that could be my punishment. Yeah, we could do that. As long as everything's edible, Put tell me what to put on a pizza. That would be really gross. And Ponda Frog, still haven't seen uh, Krampus. It's, it's kind of like... K and an L and an R, so cr <laughs> with a U, and then a P O O S, like poos. Krampus. It's, it's just like stolen or a uh, matzipan. It's German. I, and I know that's not what you said, um, but you've heard mixed reviews, so we'll see at some point. Um, yeah, I'd say go see it. Little Giles, I was going to suggest that he be forced to wait to eat his fruitcake on Christmas, but I'm afraid that he may have dug into that already.
You know we do well. Oh, Capazone 2, you ask me to pour molasses over my head. Oh, man. I'd be willing to do that, but that would suck. It'd be a very sticky situation. Pun intended. Tony Fredrickson, I actually like this. Not doing, like I mentioned before, not doing any more outros until somebody sends me in new outros. I'm actually down for that. The Energize says the tin can challenge, and uh, you definitely want to see uh, Krampus <laughs> when you get the chance. I'm just going to say Krampus because it just sounds too weird the other way for us English-speaking folk. Oh, yes, by the way, see it. Branson Haunted Hills, great cards and presents. Sandy is the best. Um, yeah, she's <laughs> she's freaking amazing. I I love I love all of you guys. I really do. There, so many of people in this haunted industry do so many for so many others. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Not in four three three. It's only been one vlog, and you forgot the outro. I know. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I just won't do any more outros until we get more in. Kind of like taking a strike. Yeah. I might just do that. There might be one on this one. There might not. I don't know. Anyway, guys, this vlog is like hella long now because of COC. I have to pick Phoenix up in the morning. I've got Phoenix tomorrow and Sunday. So I don't know what the vlog is going to be like. I never know what the vlog is going to be like. It's like every every day is like a new canvas that you don't know what it's going to be like until you paint it. So happy haunting. Thanks for watching. Um, remember to do all that stuff. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff down below and all the other stuff that you guys are so awesome in doing. Thank you. Bye. Happy hunting. See you tomorrow. Ow. Oh, God damn it. I seriously just did that. <laughs> <laughs>